So if you have 2020 vision, you're lucky. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paulina. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys pros and cons for both glasses and contacts. Also, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I put on my contacts and how I take them off. Hopefully, the pros and cons for both the contacts and glasses help you decide if you either want contacts, glasses, or both. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. It would help me so much. Hopefully, you guys find this information helpful and let's get into showing you guys the pros and cons for glasses and contacts. So, I'm gonna be telling you guys five pros and five cons for both the glasses and the contacts. So I'm going to be starting off with the pros and cons for glasses, but before doing that, I'm gonna show you guys the glasses I own. So I keep them in this case. And they're just like the simple black frame glasses. There's nothing too special about them. I've always wanted the clear frame ones, but I never got to it. I just ended up sticking with the black frame because I'm basic. I feel like I've gotten to a point where I either have to have my contacts on or my glasses on, or else I can't like move around like comfortably. Like I'll feel like I can't do anything with them. Like, you know, like your vision. So if you have 2020 vision, you're lucky. So I'm going to start off with the pros for glasses. So, and then also I'll be looking down because I have everything written on my laptop, just so I won't forget. So the first pro for glasses is that they're not expensive, like compared to contacts. I feel like if you take good care of your glasses, they will last you for a long time. So you could basically pay once, get your glasses, and it can last you up to like one year, two years, three years. For me, these are like my fourth pair, but I've had glasses since I was like in middle school. So like it's, you know, like I have to change the glasses eventually. So the next pro is that they're easy to put on. So like, let's say you're in the rush in the morning, you can literally just put on your glasses and bounce. The next pro is that they're safe and can prevent eye infections. When putting on your glasses, your fingers aren't getting near your eye. So there's no way for you to get any eye infection. The next pro is that you can take naps throughout the day. I know that might seem weird, like napping, how is that important when deciding when you, like to get glasses or not? But if you want to nap, you can literally just take off your glasses and literally knock out and put them back on. The last pro is that anyone can use it. Children, teenagers, adults, elders, it's accessible to anybody. So now going on to cons. The first con is that when you have glasses on, your side view is still blurry. So let me show you guys like my glasses. So when you're looking through your lenses, you only see good looking forward. But when you look to the side, you see blurry. It gives you like a blind spot, you could say. The next con is that your glasses can fall when exercising. So for me, when I exercise, I wear contacts because I feel with glasses, they will fall off. Like when you're like jumping, running, um, doing like certain stuff. The next con is that some may like how they look without glasses than with glasses. So you should keep that in mind when deciding you want glasses or not. Just like if you don't like how you look with glasses and I don't recommend the glasses for you. The next con is that if you're a person that likes wearing makeup, it's possible that your makeup can smudge because of the glasses. So glasses do rest on your nose, so it's possible that the glasses can smudge your makeup. So honestly, when it comes to that, I do prefer not wearing glasses unless you like have like a beauty hack that you know eliminates that from happening. But at least for me, I just prefer not wearing the glasses the next con oh this is a big one the next con is that you can't wear sunglasses because obviously you can't put the sunglasses over the glasses it will look a bit odd um obviously there are sunglasses that do have prescription but that limits you to only owning one pair of sunglasses because sunglasses with prescription are more expensive than like the normal um like um glasses so those are all the pros and cons for glasses. Now I'm gonna tell you guys the pros and cons for contacts. So the first pro for contacts is that when you exercise, you don't have to worry about glasses falling off. The next pro for contacts is that you can see literally everywhere. You can see from the side, from the front. Because the contact is covering your whole pupil, you're, you have good vision in all angles. The next pro for contacts is that you don't have to worry about your contacts ruining your makeup because obviously there's nothing like touching your face, not like the glasses. Next pro is that you can wear as many sunglasses as you want because your vision is already good with the contacts, you can literally wear any sunglasses. The last pro for contacts is that you may feel more confident with your contacts on because there's literally nothing on your face. 
not like the glasses you do have the frames on your face and like i said there is people that do prefer how they look without glasses just like me i prefer how i look without the glasses the first con for contacts is that it's possible that you could get an eye infection for me at least i've had contacts for three years now and i have never gotten an eye infection if you don't take care of your contacts or if you don't wash your hands before putting on contacts it's possible that you can get an infection make sure that you don't sleep with them that you don't shower with them i mean honestly when i first got my contacts i did like shower with them like a few times and i did fall asleep like a few times i am i am guilty of that but i do recommend for you guys not to do that and then for me, I don't have that issue either with keeping my contacts clean because I use dailies. I literally use them once and throw them away. While if you use monthlies or weeklies, you do have to keep cleaning your contacts. So keep in mind also when deciding which type of contacts you want. Next con for contacts is that they are expensive. Also, the prices do depend on which type of contact you get. For me, I have dailies and I believe those are one of the most expensive. Next con for contacts is, but is that your eyes can get dry. At least for me, when I have my contacts on for the whole day, my eyes do get a bit dry. But I feel like contacts, they do recommend you to only use them for 8 hours. But So I mean, I do overuse them. That's kind of my problem. But I feel like in general, contacts do make your eyes a little bit more drier. So I do recommend eye drops if you have that issue as well. The last con might seem a bit silly, but is that you can't really take naps throughout the day because you can't sleep with your contacts on. I mean, you can take off your contacts and put them back on when wanting to nap, but I feel like if you like go out somewhere like to your friend's house and then want to take a nap there, and if you don't have your little container with the liquid, you won't have anywhere to place them. There is people that do take naps with contacts, but honestly, I don't recommend that you wake up with your eyes super dry and like red. I remember once I fell asleep for like three hours and when I woke up, it I had to force myself to cry in order to be able to take them off. So I don't recommend for you guys to sleep with them. That's basically all the pros and cons for contacts. I hope you guys enjoyed all this information. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful. Hopefully it helps you guys decide if you want either glasses or contacts. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to put on and to take off your contacts. I'm now gonna show you guys how I put on my contacts and Hopefully I'm good at explaining, hopefully, because uh, I'm not that good at explaining, but we'll see how it goes. So, I have, I don't know the name of it because I left the box in my room, but I have these contacts. For me, um, my left eye is worse than my right. So, for my left eye, it says negative, um, it says negative three. Honestly, I just know that the higher the number, the worse your vision is. So I feel like positive or negative are still bad, but I feel like the closer the numbers are to zero, I think they're the least worse. Like they're not that bad as like a higher number. I really recommend dailies. They're more expensive than like the monthlies and the weeklies, but I do recommend dailies. Like they're like the best. So now let's get into showing you guys how I put on these contacts. Oh my God, I'm so close to the camera, but make sure to wash your hands because you don't want like bacteria to go into your eye and you don't get an eye infection. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so like I said, I'll first put on the right eye. Right eye. Okay, let's get to it. It's a contact right here. And then I just grab it. This is how the contact looks. It's a bit clear, so it's like very in the card for you guys to see it, but here's a contact. So I'm gonna put it on the right one. So I put it on one finger. So I use my right hand to um, hold the contact and then I use my left hand to like hold my face. I slightly pull my under eye and then I open my eyes wide. And then I look up and down. And they're on. Getting so close to you guys, but can you see it? So basically when I put it on, I use the opposite hand that I'm not using. I pull my eye down, I, make, I open my eyes real wide. I look up, I put it in, and then I look down. So let's do it again. Like right now I'm seeing kind of blurry because I see perfect, and then I'm blurry. And let's put on the other one. Here's a contact. You guys could like barely see it most likely, but. So I'm gonna use my left hand to Pull my under eye and use my right hand to put the contact. I'm gonna look up, 
put it in, look down, and there it is. I put it on. Did I put them on? I did. So there it is, guys. It's not that difficult. Uh, like I said, all I have to do is, for me at least, I'm right-handed. That's my dominant hand. So I put the contact on my right hand. I use my left hand to pull uh, slightly. I look up, put the contact in, look down, and let go. And your contact goes in. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take off your contacts. So same as putting on your contact, you're going to use your non-dominant hand and put it on the eye that you're going to take off the contact. Pull it down. Pulling the contact down. And then pinching. Hopefully you guys saw how I did it. So hopefully I just used my non-dominant hand. I pulled my face down. I looked up. Pull the contact down and then pinched. So let me do it again one last time. So I pull my under eye down, I look up, I pull the contact down, I pinch, and it's out. Guys, don't be scared when it comes to pinching your eye, not pinching your eye, like not literally pinching your eye, but when it comes to actually you know, pinching the contact, don't be scared. Obviously, you're gonna feel the contact and just gently pinch. Don't like freaking grab your whole eyeball, but like gently pinch and it'll come off. Honestly, guys, I feel like after practicing, you guys will get better at it. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to put on and take off your contacts. Hopefully you guys found those little clips helpful. Obviously at first it may seem hard, but you guys will get used to it and you guys will learn. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like some more videos with me, then you should subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.